I call the session of the Student Government Association Supreme Court to order. Will the prosecution present their opening statement, please? The statue of Sam Houston is in fact a religious statue. Sam Houston himself was a Baptist, and by having a 30-foot high statue of a man who was Baptist, we're telling incoming students that this is a Baptist school, therefore we're violating the Establishment Clause of the Constitution. Mr. Abbott Jr., would you like to begin? Thank you, Your Honor. The statue may represent to some a religious purpose, but it also has a secular purpose. It represents the great work that Sam Houston did for the great state of Texas and is presented in a historical context, therefore does not violate the establishment clause of the Constitution, and should be allowed to remain on the grounds. The prosecution may now begin their first argument. There are varying statues of people in the world. Why do we have to have Sam Houston on our ground? The name of the school is Sam Houston State. My point exactly, Your Honor. If we're going to be serious about the separation of church and state, then we can't have a statue on the grounds. I don't want my tax dollars going to the funding of some statue of a man who's Baptist. If a student walks around campus and sees a 30-foot high statue of a Baptist man, then they're going to assume that we support the Baptist religion, therefore violating the Establishment Clause of the Constitution. Mr. Abbott, Jr. The statue is not endorsing one religion over another. It is his endorsing the historical significance of one man over others. It is the statue of St. Houston the Hero, not of St. Houston the Baptist. No reasonable person would assume that the state is supporting the Baptists with the statue of St. Houston. I'd assert you'd be hard-pressed to even find a student at the university who knows a religion he subscribed to. Mr. Abbott, I must warn you not to insult the student body of Sam Houston State when appearing before the court. I'm sorry, Your Honor. The secular purpose of the statue overrides its religious purpose, therefore it does not violate the Establishment Clause. The Supreme Court of the Student Government Association of Sam Houston State University side two to one in favor of the defendant. The statue will remain where it is. The impact that Sam Houston had on the state of Texas and its laws overrides the possible religious message. The monument's one-year history of being on the grounds is enough to suffice the Establishment Clause. The statue is presented in a historical context and by precedent of Van Orden v. Perry does not violate the Establishment Clause. This meeting is adjourned.